in this video i'm going to use my real life example that help you to understand what project management is what are the nuances of project management and how it can help you to be true i'm going to use the example that i see on daily basis and that is a true life of a project manager i'm not talking about myself i'm talking about my wife my wife is a project manager working in one of the multinational company in us and how she looks from the lens of pmp everything and this what i'm going to share is basically entirely her idea how she does and i communicated her and she said yes this is what project management is and this is how i deal it what i'm going to do let's uh, discuss that thing and let's see how that project manager happens so first thing at she wake up at 6 am in the morning and by 8 she has to drop all children and then she has to attend stand up from monday to friday she has to do it from home and occasionally when they have to travel to office that's another thing so let's assume right now for home what i wake up when i wake up when i go when i see how things are happening i have a son his name is mahat i have a daughter her name is hani so whenever they wake up my wife goes she basically take out my son first and put him in front of the television turn the tv on and then she put my daughter in front of the television tv turn on the cartoon and start making food uh, now what is happening here why she, let's take the example of that she turn the tv on so that my son he can like take his time and turn it on what is this this is stakeholder engagement so let me put it into the pmi term she identify her stakeholder her number one stakeholder is me my son and daughter she identify them and now there's a communication plan communication plan talks about four hour of communication right information at right time to right people to have right impact there's a different communication strategy for each stakeholder for that she has a stakeholder plan of course all three stakeholder are high power high interest but for each stakeholder there's a different strategy for my son now my son is kind of like me he's very cranky in the morning he does not like to wake up so when he wake up he takes his time my wife is cooking food simultaneously and okay, like let's say normally we have pancakes in the morning feeding pancake to him and while she is doing that she while cooking she yells at him hey mahat is your mouth moving or not moving and of course like every mother she says that if you don't eat you are not going to go to school what she is doing she is using effective communication effective communication strategy according to the requirement of the stakeholder she is changing it of course she is not using the same with my daughter because my daughter normally eats she is very sweet so she is eating so there is no problem in that area she j- just check in with her are you doing that so here the four r of communication is taking place right information at right time to right people to have right impact this is the most important thing in both stakeholder and communication topic in stakeholder topic once you identify the stakeholder prioritize using power interest matrix then in stakeholder engagement plan there are two stakeholder engagement matrix current engagement and desire what do you do and for that we make strategies and those strategies are implemented using communication management plan so that is how daily we use stakeholder as well as communication plan in our daily life that basically help us to understand that help us to manage the effective stakeholder engagement now i hope this example help you to do various thing now one of the biggest lesson is that you always need to communicate effectively with the stakeholders you need to understand their requirement and tailor your communication 
according to their requirement i hope uh, you can resonate with this thing and of course now once 8 am happen my wife has to manage scope scope schedule and of course cost is always there like she has to be back by 8 am to attend a stand up she is managing like four projects she has to attend that she drops off yeah i don't do anything uh, so she drops off then and then get back to it she needs to make sure everything is done effectively on time so what she is doing in order to manage schedule she needs to make sure the scope the scope is clear the she let's say what are, what is in the charter the children need to be dropped the food has to be cooked uh, they, uh, they have food their lunch are ready their uh, snacks are ready and she drop them and get back on time so scope or i would say wbs is clear here your scope baseline is ready schedule is ready cost is already fixed so in order to identify she has made a risk management plan identify all the risk the major risk and then she identify and worked into it another important risk now if i don't eat food within one hour uh, i get a stomach ulcer or things like that she also makes sure that that risk is minimized i get my food within one and a half hour i know i know my wife is a super wife so yeah i would say super more more towards because she pushes my son to the next limit but she identify the risk handle the risk she reach on time so make sure that risk never affected that risk never materialized so risk is managed and of course the quality is there to make sure the standards are met if the food is not cooked if food is not burned and i am a foodie guy i am a lot of things into food that is not done then there's a problem so quality is my idea scope schedule cost stakeholder engagement and communication and risk what is the purpose why today i am sharing this example with you guys this is life when i say project management is nothing but life management i just give you an example you can take another uh, trip like for example on my birthday we went to waterfall we identify the risk initially we were planning to go to nagra falls but then we realized that one of the most important deliverables at the nagra fall was boat that was not available on my birthday it was going to be available on certain days we change our plan we adapt it we uh, you, we became agile so this is project management this is life management your pmi project management is not different from that if you just understand the nuances if you just understand the context i'm 100% sure 90% of the time you can clear call question yes there's are terminologies yes there's are language yes there's are tool how to avoid mitigate transfer things of those natures are there but the most important thing is that look at the bigger picture how the bigger picture falls and then go to the each step how each step fall and of course if you want to go into depth of the project management my program is on 17th of my register now and we'll make sure you understand each and every single nuances of project management i hope this video inspired you i hope this video helped you to understand how the pmp is i just want to say that pmp consists of predictive and age and both are very easy let's not make it complex and of course you don't have to read any book to become pmp you just need to understand the flow as i said it do let me know how you like it and then if you loved it uh, i will make some more case studies into it and if you want to really become pmp uh, and you want to do quick summary of things this mastery series the entire playlist here will help you and please do subscribe it so that you keep getting every single thing that i do and i'm going to share more and more things every single day see you bye bye